I'm Christian Pascual. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Medictor. Uh, let me start saying that sadly, we have seen governments not using really technology to fight the pandemic. Uh, mask, lockdowns, that were the tools that we used 100 years ago. Uh, but a lot of things have changed. COVID war has adopted virtual care. We are sure of that. Uh, we have been the raise of telehealth use from 11% to 46%. We have seen saturated call centers on every wave. Healthcare has forgot the normal disease. This has happened. And I think that a smart pandemic response needs real time geolocalized data to provide personalized instructions to the individuals. You know, we should do this in the next pandemic. And in Medictor, we have been working the last 10 years to guide patients to the right level of care. And that makes sense with the pandemic before and after. But Medictor is the AI healthcare gatekeeper. And we would like to improve access to healthcare worldwide. Uh, what we have built up is now the most accurate artificial intelligence based medical assistant for triage and pre diagnosis. It's really easy to use. Uh, you can do it online. Uh, you just state how you feel in your own words, start a, con a conversation with the AI, and in on average of 14 questions, you will have an outcome, which is a recommendation on what to do next and a list of possible diseases you could be suffering. This makes even more sense when we integrate it into our clients' Uh, services, so it, you are linked to the best, more suitable service. Um, of course, we launched a COVID-19 triage and mapping uh, to allow personalized protocols and also not only pre-diagnose COVID, but other uh, disease that have similar uh, symptoms. So it's not useful for the first wave, but the second and third and even today. And this technology, it's easy to use, but extremely complex in behind. We cover uh, more than 800 disease. Uh, we have 7,000 possible questions. Our game is to choose the best next question. We use machine learning techniques to drive intuition into the machine and learns from every interaction and also a huge natural language recognition engine that has 35,000 synonyms of symptoms. So you can express your symptoms in your own words or even with typos. And that happens in 13 languages. We own our, our technology from scratch. We can fine tune it for our clients uh, because we sell this solution as a B2B software as a service can be up and running in just four weeks because we have all types of interface fully developed. So you can integrate it to your desired interface. It's really important uh, and we spend a lot of effort to validate our solution. We have done six clinical trials. Um, one of them uh, was showing our accuracy up to 91.3% in pre-diagnose. And this is done with real patients in a hospital facility. So uh, this is, we are the only symptom checker clinically validated with real patients in the world today. We have a huge footprint. Uh, we are serving 26 countries. I, I today discovered the same countries as Startup Health. And uh, we have done over 5 million consultations with a lot of corporations, health uh, insurance companies, health systems, pharma companies. We have a value proposition for you. So if you are a healthcare corporation, please let me know. We can fine tune and bring value to your services. If you are a VC, uh, we are closing around right now, but happy to connect. Thank you very much. Awesome. Thank you, Christian. Uh, another company that's had quite a year. Um, you're in 26 countries. You you were, I remember, the official triage tool for Spain for COVID early on in the pandemic. Um, so awesome to see how you were directly able to, 
to add value and, and just help people navigate the pandemic. Um, can you, so everybody understands, um, share what differentiates you from other symptom checkers and, and tools that might be in your category? Well, I think that um, clinical validation for us, it's the main stone. Uh, we, it's, uh, this is not a toy, this is a clinical tool. We need to convince the chief medical officers of the corporation we work with that this is a serious thing. So we put a lot of effort into that. But also, I think that we have very unique features that makes the conversation of the AI extremely sharp, driving only 14 questions on average. So uh, that's, that's the two things that you have to ask to a symptom checker tool. How accurate can you demonstrate clinically? And how many questions in, on average can you drive? Because of course we can drive 30 questions, 40, but then it's not so pleasant for the user. Christian, how could people try MedicTor? Can, can anyone try MedicTor online? Yeah, it's free online. Uh, any user can, can go online and try it. It's, it's for demonstration purposes, but uh, even though we only do for demonstration when we don't do publicity, we have done 1.5 million consultations only online this year. So uh, this shows that there is a need to be, to be covered. Mm -hmm. And 26 countries is a lot. Um, can you share a little bit about your strategy there? Where do you have the, the most presence and where do you see the most growth opportunity in the future? So, uh, of course, as we are based in Barcelona, we are strong in Europe and in some countries in Europe, especially where we lead the market. Uh, also, our natural market, it's Latin America. We have a lot of clients there, uh, big clients in the industry and also the US. Uh, so these are right now our main markets, but we are happy to go anywhere on earth if there is an uh, opportunity. And for the potential partners on the line, what does it take to integrate MedicTor? Can you talk about that experience? Well, we, we really um, did a, a, a lot of job to make it really easy. Uh, it can be done really fast, uh, as fast as four weeks, but depending on, on each client and the complexity of the integration, but we have worked a lot to make it really easy.